guys, Matt here from Pilot Practice Exams. Now, Evan Rose in our Pilot Practice Exams uh, private group posed a really good question, you know, what's going on with the, um, or what's my opinion on the upcoming R4 changes? And I, I'd come across it, but I really hadn't given it a huge amount of thought um, or any study, but it's obviously becoming a relevant topic. It's meant to have been introduced and it's, um, just found out of Jason Matheson, who's given me a lot of this information. So thank you, Jason. Um, he's studying his CPL, so he's had some lessons on this. So far, we haven't seen it in any exams, but uh, it can't be far away. So it won't hurt for you to study and ask your instructors about this. So first of all, to get the information, and this is courtesy of Jason, thank you, head on over to this link here, okay, the bomb link. Um, you're going to bring up your grid uh, point wind and temperature forecast, which is going to look like this. Now, all you need to do is pick whichever tab you're looking at. Now, for 90 something percent of us, we're all going to be looking at the low level tab all the time. Okay, and you can confirm that down here just to make sure you've got the right one, which is 1000 feet to 1400 feet. Ah, uh, sorry, to F health 140. <laughs> now, then you need to pick the time. Okay, now just remember, the easiest way for all the people on the East Coast is basically uh, mostly year round, 000 is 10 a.m. So if you have trouble, remember, just make yourself up a little time chart, stick it on your desk, stick it on your back of your laptop, uh, iPad, and stick it somewhere in your plane. It's pretty easy um, to just flick over and you'll quickly learn it. So you can download a high res version because the uh, low res is a bit hard to see for some of us with the uh, optical challenging issues. So the, first, the middle column is your wind speed, so 019 represents 19 knots, 020 there represents 20 knots, 012, 12 knots. Now they're at different levels, so the levels are down here, so as you can see I've drawn a line to them for each one, okay, so uh, the, the one at the bottom is the 1000 foot, uh, the next one's 2000, then 5000, 7000, 10000 and FL 140, so they're the only ones that are included in the low level. Now, as Jason pointed out, this is really handy for your flight uh, planning, particularly when you've got very different winds at different levels, because you can uh, take a look at your wind directions and work out you know, which one you're going to get the best ranges, best fuel economy, and best flight speeds out of. So, the other one is the um, the isotemp is the coloured one there, sorry, and the wind direction, which is the first column. So. 1, 2 is obviously 1, 2, 0, okay, 1, 1 is 1, 1, 0, uh, 0, 9 over here is 0, 9, 0, so again over here I've written the red is positive, the blue is negative, now let's just take a look at a little bit of um, background information, so over here I've put some background info, the low level issue is if issued every 6 hours and it's valid, valid, uh, valid for 3 hours, um, the the issue time and the validity is on the chart down here, so um, there it is, just there and there. So um, it's, it tells you what the format is there in case you forget. Now, this is a another thing that's in the background info. Um, where the data is taken if, is if you look at the uh, sorry, just this is doing a bit of zooming in and out. You got the map of Australia there in green, okay, yeah, where my mouse is, so I'll just click on it a few times in case it's a little bit hard to see in the video, clicking around the edge of Australia. So in each of there, there is, I'm going to zoom in now, um, in each one of those, so here we are up in Queensland, the data for that box there, okay, where my mouse is going, is taken from the middle of the box, so the weather may actually be slightly different up here, down here, over here, and up there. It's just an average for that point, okay? Um, and, and that's important in the background info. So I think I've covered it all, and I'm going to throw this in the group now, and if you've got any other information on this, please add it in the comments, and I will update the video if necessary. So thanks, Evan, for raising this, and double thumbs up to Jason for the information you've provided. And I hope this is accurate, and if not, I'll just re-record it. So throw your comments in here, and um, let's create a resource for everyone to use.